one of the most common questions we get when we meet people afterwards, when we tell them, you have a diastasis, you have an abdominal separation, you've got some um, challenges happening with your core, it's why didn't anybody tell me and what can I do about it? So we are going to educate you, provide you with information that you know during your pregnancy so you can take steps to prevent it, but you're also going to know what you can do afterwards to set yourself up for a stronger return to the activity that you want to do. I have that kind of unique view of what's going on on the inside. Kim has worked with pelvic floor health for years as well, and so a lot of the programs don't involve that component. And because we have these different backgrounds, I think it really makes us stronger as a team. We're about stronger mummies and flatter tummies. So it's not just about getting your flat tummy, it's about being stronger from the inside out because that's what will help allow you to return to the activities that you want to do and be confident in your body. People don't talk about how hard it is. And again, it was this woman on the phone who I spoke with today, watching yourself get big. People don't talk about that. You hit like seven months maybe, and then you go, crap, I'm gonna get bigger. And then you immediately go to, how am I gonna get this off? Immediately. And you still got a couple months to go, right? So um, I don't think a lot of people talk about that, the psychological and the emotional parts of that. So, um, you know, yes, I wanna get them strong and fit, but I do rein them in and make sure, make sure they do it safely, properly, effectively, without causing further damage so they can get where they wanna go much faster. For me as a physio, before I met the girls, it was always sending them into the big black hole. Here I've got their function back, but now they don't know how to take it and use it because I can only get them to a certain point. And so I love working with these two because I can send them out. And the, the combination that we've done is we now have that program that fills that black hole, that void of here's your, here's your function, now start building it into real life, and now build it into your fitness routine. set yourself up when you're when you're pregnant so you know how to heal properly postpartum. You need to heal from the inside out, nutrition, the right exercise, and the right people to guide you for when there is a problem. Getting assessed, finding out what you're starting with. And slow down. Slow down. I'm gonna steal a quote from Kim. The word mummy and boot camp should not be used in the same sentence. No new mother Run far away. No, don't run. <laughs> Walk, Walk slow. Walk slow. Walk slowly. <laughs> Walk slowly. Yeah, 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 yeah. Walk slowly away. Yes, and yeah, just slow down and and it's like Kim said, appreciate the fact of what you've just gone through. Whether it's a C-section, vaginal delivery, you grew a person inside you. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not going to go away overnight. But just have the confidence in knowing if you do everything correct. When you do start back, you're going to be that much stronger.